I want to tell you about an experience that I had at the grocery store a while ago. It was positive, and it came at a pretty good time. I've had, well, Ms. Dong and I both have had stressful days at work here lately, especially the last couple of weeks or so. Especially Mrs. Dog, y'all keep her in prayer. She is going through uh, some things at work, and I can't get into the details or anything like that. Uh, she does completely different kind of work than I do. She works with numbers, and she works in a corporate environment, and it's full of sharks. And she's been there for quite a while, so she knows the drill. She knows her way around the water there, of course. However, she's running into some big challenges, so please keep her in prayer here. I'd appreciate it. But I've also had some challenging days uh, at work. And, I mean, not to the level of his dog now, I, I know, but uh, there are some aspects of my job, just like anybody else's, you know, if you work, there are aspects of it that aren't going to be great, but um, that, that have been stressing me and and one I knew I had to deal with today that I was a bit worried about, and I know I shouldn't worry, and it went fine, it went okay, and afterwards, like usual, I'm like, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, you know, we dealt with it fine, and, uh, but anyway, I've, I've been stressed uh, today, well, last few days or so, but anyway, I, uh, as I sometimes do, uh, after work, I stop at Publix and get a few things, to bring home. Well, I'm in there, and uh, it wasn't really crowded, too crowded for, and especially the, for this time of the day, usually there's more people in there, but I grabbed a few things, and I'm going down one of the aisles, and it's just me and another lady in the aisle, and this is an older lady, elderly lady, and as we get closer, she says, she just smiles and says, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm making it fine. How about you? And she said, I'm just blessed to be here. Blessed to be here. God bless you. And I said, God bless you too. Amen. And uh, and I know it was a quick interaction, but it just really was nice. You know, because usually in the stores, we see people with, I, at least I, I do, y'all probably notice this too, but I really... Uh, I notice behavior and I, and I, part of my job is observing human behavior, right? Typically in stores, I see people that have this look on their face, especially in the grocery stores because of the prices. They're probably depressed and in shock because they're about to have to go up and pay for what they have in their cart. And they're probably like, I hope I got enough, you know, or this is really going to hurt, which it is. I understand. We do it all the time, but I see stress, I see worry, I see despair in a lot of in a lot of faces. I see anger. I see bloodshot eyes. I see people that are high that look like they're just depressed. I see just about everything on people's face. But when I see somebody that's just blessed to be here, that's pretty cool. And it makes me look inward too and say, I'm blessed to be here too. I'm blessed to be getting older. Um, and I hope when I'm the age of this lady into the future that I still am here and that I feel that way, you know, she looked like she was getting around fine. You know, she wasn't like, you know, needing help or nothing, but she was alone, which is not great, not ideal, but you know, we can't always have somebody with us all the time. I know it's not ideal, but anyway. Anyway, I just wanted to share that and, and make you think. And when you're out there, I'm not saying you got to go out there and say, hey, you know, to everybody and that kind of thing. But be, be somewhat receptive to it. And when it happens, just cherish it. Just enjoy it. Enjoy, this, enjoy the experience and reciprocate. And, uh, yeah, if you feel so inclined, I mean, you know, smile and, and, and nod. And, you know, we used to do that all the time, didn't we? We used to do that, especially here in the South. Now, I know some of you guys in the Northeast, and I have 
friends that are from New York and all that kind of stuff, and they're like, we don't do that, dog. I mean, no disrespect, but we just don't do that. You don't go up there and just say, hey, to everybody, or nod, smile, and all that. They think you're weird. And I'm like, I understand. But down here, you know, it's more common. I mean, nowadays, not as common, but when it does happen, it's kind of cool. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. Be kind. We don't know what people are going through. We have no idea. And I know a lot of you guys are struggling right now. And I know you're putting prayer requests out there. Please continue to do that. And we are praying for every single one of you. I appreciate it. And I appreciate y'all sharing things like that. I appreciate y'all watching. And I don't say it enough. I really do. Ms. Dog and I spend a good bit of time. We 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 look at all the comments, and uh, and they're great. Well, 99.9% 99.9% of them are great. We get the occasional uh, Yahoo, which every video you don't get one or two, but that's just the way it is, right? That's the way it is in our broken world, especially nowadays with the challenges we're we're all facing in this world. We know, right? I'm going to end with a good passage. I believe this was the actual, this was the verse of the day on the Bible app, but I'm going to say it anyway. It's a pretty good one. <clears throat> this is from Luke. Luke chapter 6 verse 36 says, Be merciful just as your father also is merciful. So merciful meaning that you're not punished when you probably deserved it. And as children of God, we know that we are sinful and we know that we have all the flaws and all this kind of stuff going on and that God could just turn us to, he could just turn us to dust in a, in a moment, but he doesn't. He is very merciful and he knows you. He knows you better than you know yourself. And through Christ, through Jesus Christ, we have that opportunity to be redeemed we just accept him as our savior and love him and follow him. But God is merciful indeed. And uh, very thankful for that. But let's also show that when we can, let's show that. I know it's not always easy. It's hard sometimes. But let's try to be merciful to others as well, just as our God is. By doing that, we are shining like Jesus, in a way at least. <clears throat> I hope that makes sense. I do believe that angels walk among us. I really do. Makes you wonder when you've seen one, did you know you saw one or not? I don't know. I believe we all have at times. Maybe we didn't realize it. Maybe we did. Hmm. We're in interesting times right now. We are. Let's stay in prayer. Stay close to Jesus. Let's help each other out. Stay safe. God bless you. I will see you soon.